Hi, welcome to a PowerPoint computer tutoring tutorial. Bit of a mouthful, but we offer training and tutorials online uh, and also classroom based. <clears throat> if you want to see any more details, please click on the link that I'll provide below uh, for our classroom based training courses, which also come with uh, free post training support. We can actually take over your computer and give you training post support. But enough with that. This was a question or an answer to a question. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was conducting a power uh, point training course for a large uh, retail group in the UK. And uh, they asked the question, how do I get one video on a PowerPoint presentation to start after the other one is finished? So in particular, they were using online tutorials and screen grabs and screen recording software. Um, yeah, uh, so this time we're going to have a, just a quick look here. Um, because there's videos on here, I'm not going to record the audio, so hopefully it doesn't muck up. Last time I did it, some audio came through and it really mucked the video up. But let's just see what we can see. So if I start my presentation, you can see my first video starts. And then if I just bring it to the end of the video, and as I'm uh, wrapping up this Smart Art PowerPoint video presentation, you can see soon as the video goes to the end there we go it starts the next video so i'm using a what's known as a bookmark and a trigger to accomplish this so let's have a look and see how we've done it we've got the animation pane here so i'm going to undo everything by removing certain things here and closing the animation pane uh, and also under playback i've got a bookmark just here so i've added in a bookmark let's move myself out the way so you can see so i'm going to remove that there Oops. There we go. So the first thing I need to do is I click on this video here. I would then decide, OK, where do I want to add my bookmarks? I'm just going to drag right to the end here, as far into the end as I can get. There we go. I can even use this video, this bit here to go to the very end. I then, then click on the add bookmark button, which adds a bookmark called bookmark one. Now it's this bookmark that I'm going to use to trigger the other video. So how do I do that? So what I do is I click on this video here, just move myself out of the way. Uh, and then what I want to do is I want to go to animations and then I want to go to where is it triggers and uh, you can see the triggers just here but as you can see at this moment in time it's grayed out because there's no animation there's nothing to you know to do uh, to hook that trigger onto so what I'm going to do is going to go to playback and then where it starts instead of saying when clicked on I'm going to click on the drop down list and choose automatically so that video will start automatically but I want it to start when the other video uh, has finished playing. So that's when I go back to animations. I can now go on to trigger on the bookmark, bookmark one. So if I now go to the animation pane, you can see the animation pane uh, button at the top. You can see I've got the trigger bookmark one. I've got the animating uh, start one there. Uh, what I can do here is I should, I just need the bottom one really. So if I just click on this top one here, which is the automatic playing and then remove that one. And now if I just start the video, but this time I'll have to click on this, that will play through. Uh, if I just bring myself to the end here and then when the video stops playing, uh, the other video will start playing. Uh, there we go. Brilliant. So there we go. So that's one you do it on tick. Now, say, for instance, on a kiosk or some online presentation, you want it just to automatically start. I found that there's a problem with this. Uh, if you found any way around this, then just let me know. But what I found is when I click on this first one here and I say, OK, what I want it to do is uh, I'm going to start this off. Um, if I go to playback here and then I'm going to start this off automatically then it seems to sort of change the order of all of this. So I just need to make sure this is okay. So at the moment, the smart art animation one, this one, if I drag down, that's the one I want to make sure that's on the trigger. So I can make sure that one's on the trigger of bookmark one. So I'll make sure that's the one that's triggered. This one I can remove, okay? So this one is the smart art, it should start automatically. And then bookmark one should be the trigger for this one here. So if I click on my, view button at the bottom you can see the first one starts goes through the wonderful smart art about that and changing bullet points into smart art if i click at the end to go to the end here and as i'm uh, gradually coming to the end of how to do basic smart art in uh powerpoint as you can see the animating smart art video starts so it's just really getting to grips 
with this animation pane here if you just have a quick look see you can see on the right so this one here this play button means that this video is going to start playing automatically and then you can see this button here shows that this video is going to start automatically but it's going to be paused until the first video the timeline in the first video hits the first uh, bookmark there so I hope that makes sense. If you've got anything out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe so you're not going to miss out any uh, videos. I'm constantly doing training courses all over and learn so much, not just from uh, myself, but from the students that I teach and the ways that they've got around with sol um, got around um, problem solving, basically. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. <laughs>